kind of a big stream. We got a lot of people here watching, obviously, you know, and um, I, I thought about it, you know, I was like, should I say something? Should I, should I voice my opinions? And my, you know, and Eric was like, yes. <laughs> yes. And I, I was thinking, I was like, I was like, I was like should, should I talk about this? And Eric was like, yes. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, the young guys want to hear about it too, you know? Um, it's kind of been a long time coming, and it's kind of a sad situation, you know, almost a sad turning of the guard, like a, a sad, you know, rip of the band-aid, kind of, you know, um, everybody has really gotten kind of, you know, a look at, you know, the, this, this underbelly. Team Doug. You know, to the, uh, much love to Doug, man, you know, this, this underbelly that you don't, you know, rarely get to see too often, and you, but you've seen a numerous amount of times. Honestly, you know, and, um, Flavio, you know, <laughs> Charlie got himself a hot one. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to hook, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I wasn't just going to hook up with an ugly one. One, someone that I thought was <laughs> unattractive, you know, so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, like, like I was saying, um, uh, like, I, I feel bad for Doug, you know, but it, it, in, a, in a certain sense, like, it's almost like. He is kind of the, the, maybe maybe possibly the straw that broke the camel's back, you know what I mean? Like almost, we, like he, his casualty might be what needed, to, we needed for everyone to actually kind of just open their eyes and just see, you know? Anybody over the ages of 14, you know what I mean? That aren't backpackers, uh, you know, that don't want to just run with the crowd, you know what I mean? A lot of you guys... You know, the majority of you that have followed our situation and well before I even came along, Dougie you know, you talking about one right here. And um, uh, you guys, you guys know, you guys, you guys are old enough. You've grown up with this. You guys, a lot of you guys, y'all were the four, 13 and 14 year olds and stuff back in 2010. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe not. There, there's a lot of a lot of people, a lot of the older people follow us kind of, you know. Which is a good thing because you guys see. And um, and it's just kind of tragic exactly how it went down with, mm. with Mr. Dougie, you know what I mean? Um, so Mr. Uh, Logan uh, uh, Logan Toya, hopefully it was a, uh, uh, sorry, female. Uh, <coughs> sorry, Toya. Um, she wants to know exactly what happened with Doug, you know. So um, I kind of started following on this quick, honestly, guys, because, you know, I, I, just, I knew exactly what was going to happen, how it was going to go down, and I also wanted to find out if it was, like, true or not, you know, whether, I, I didn't want to just, you know, just... I didn't believe it at first. I me was neither, like, there's like, no way, there's no way that they would just... Let that, let Doug, let that happen. Let that happen. Right, exactly, you know. Like... Well, and apparently they, apparently they say that, you know, well, we'll get into the, uh... The, they the, say that saying, there's been a bunch of stuff behind the behind scenes. Behind the and scenes, stuff. and well, I just then, don't see it, you know, how all of a sudden... Then handle it behind the scenes like a family. You deal with your drama and your family and your family. You don't need somebody, some outsider coming in and starting a bunch of drama and beef before yeah. you can voice your opinion to your family member. Well, see it's what, ridiculous. Well, so, I mean, see how, I mean, so how it went down when I went, when I watched it all, uh, uh, apparently there was a, a certain, um, a moderator. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far this goes, you know, but this moderator seems to be a real person, you know, obviously was picked out by, um, by Bridget herself whenever she, whenever Doug started his channel and went live, you know, and apparently, you know, this guy has been like, been seen in the, in, in the circles with, with JP, uh, you know, that's the, what they the say, who grandpa knows, cartoonist. it could just who knows? be a bunch of drama made up uh, just well, to start drama. Right, and, and so apparently Isaac had a problem with this guy and he, and he went to Doug about it. You know, he went, uh, and, um... Doug says, show me the proof. And actually, like, and he, uh, they doxed Doug's phone number first, you oh, know? Yeah. I was watching it live as it went down, you know, and they actually doxed Isaac's, I mean, uh, Doug's phone number, and he was getting calls from just people, you know, and, and just, <laughs> and then I, and then next thing you know, everyone in this, in the live stream, they were like, you know, Isaac, you know, he's doing it, he, do Isaac doxed your number and stuff. And then not even three minutes, four minutes later, five minutes later after that, you know, Isaac's calling him. And he's on the phone with him, you know what I mean? And he's uh, pretty much trying to, uh, you know, talk Doug into... Get rid of your mod. Get rid get of rid your, of your mod, mod, pretty get much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the first, I mean, that, that was what, like two nights ago? 
Yeah, I don't know. I just saw it all today. Because then, I, yeah, who knows, man? It, I just saw it myself, you know. And um, uh, apparently, they were like, uh, Doug just Doug wanted to see the proof. You know, he was like, let me see exactly what this person has been, uh, let you know, uh, has been saying or whatever. And and he couldn't he couldn't get any proof from it. You know, none of that should even matter. None of yeah. that should even. I mean, matter. It, right? It really shouldn't. I mean, you know, I, it's, but whenever your whole adult life has been in the YouTube world, maybe you don't know how to react to it any different. You got to get your paid troll, as Doug calls it, to attack you to deal with your issues. Well, you or know, to not deal with your issues because the paid troll will bring out all the issues. Whatever. <laughs> well, see, it's just... It, <laughs> you I see, mean, I'm kind of upset about it. Oh, it I'm, it's, I mean, it's gotten to the point, though, where Michael has created this, this like, behemoth, you know what I mean? That he, it, it was gonna, It's going to come back to really bite him in the ass, honestly, you know what I mean? I really can't see them um, sacrificing. How many more people are they going to sacrifice, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> you know, honestly. And, and what really gets me is is that they take it to this extreme. One thing that really gets me, yeah. It that they took it me. to this extreme, yes. you know, just over, over uh, you know, a simple moderator. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, you know, that uh, is working with JP or whatever, you know. Right, and then they want to say, oh, Doug's coming at us for money. He's yeah, for money, for money and stuff. No, he's coming at y'all for y'all to do the right thing. Stop. All this crap. Yeah, you know? and well, then I guess apparently and Doug went after, uh, went, went to him and said something about, Faking the black eye. Well, I saw something on Twitter. And Doug text that to Michael. <laughs> right. And then Michael I mean, I guess it my, And Michael shared it with the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who? Yeah. So, I really think that, you know, um, you know, I guess Doug was pressing the screws behind the scenes. Like, Michael, get you paid guy off of me or whatever. You or know what I'm I mean? I'm going to tell the truth. Right. You know, it, well, he was saying, yeah, I'll get you paid guy off of me, you know, publicly. But then in, in private, he was like, you know, I know stuff too or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And then that's whenever Michael was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and twist this and flip it and make it look like, you know, him and Charlie are working. Or, he, you know, he's, t you know, pressuring us. You know what? But for what? What, what exactly is he pressuring? The, and then that's where they say money. But it's very funny that they're doing all this to him after the fact that we took Tina to court mm -hmm. and they successfully won a restraining order against her uh, over her wanting $25,000 that it was recorded, caught and proven. Michael paid Nifty Nation for the recordings and shared it with the world. It's out there. And she wasn't going to stop until she had $25,000 to take care of her father for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. but, and here Michael is working with her. She's got her destroying dad's house and stuff. You know what I mean? For ze for not. little money, little money, and so that's another thing that we're thinking. You know, he's like these these losing views and money just daily. Like Dad's channel's in the tank. Uh, uh, sadly, it's gone. All the lies that have been said about you, and even the crazy stuff that's been said about me, there's not one thing that they could say about Doug that I'm gonna believe. Because <laughs> I know that it's yeah. just it's like they just take a whole bunch of shit and throw it at the wall and, and whatever see what sticks. whatever sticks. So yeah, there ain't there nothing it is. they yeah. can say about him that I'm gonna believe. See, that's what was like sad. Is like Doug was like the chillest one out of everybody. You know, I was, and you know what? <laughs> yeah. Doug was Grandpa's friend. I mean, Grandpa. I mean, they had their bickering and fighting and stuff, but I think Grandpa fed off of that. He, did. he liked it. Yeah, and those were some of my favorite videos. One of my favorite videos is Grandpa and Doug sitting at the table and they're arguing over getting oysters. Because well, Doug is a know-it-all. I mean, like, <laughs> seriously, straight know-it-all, you know, and it irked Dad to no end, yeah, honestly, but. you know. But Dad, you know, Dad didn't really have any other friends his age that he could just hang out with and stuff like that, you know. So, but yeah, so so Isaac goes on uh, Doug's, you know, docks his Isaac's, I mean, Doug's numbers and mm -hmm. everything, then goes on you know, goes on to call him up and pretty much tried to be the enforcer and stuff like that and bully him into, uh, not not at first, he just kept trying to talk circles at first into, you know, okay, you're right, and just, do, you know, remove the guy, we'll do whatever you say, you know, but instead, you know, Doug had to, you know, had, had to look into it on his own as, 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 you know, a grown man will do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then that's when shit hit the fan. You can tell Isaac didn't like the fact that Doug was talking about, you know, trying to, Right. He was cursing at him, not per se cursing at him, but he was like cursing, like, like he was. They were accusing this guy of something when the guy was Doug knew for a fact the guy was in the hospital. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, Doug was like, you know, he, you know how these people are. You can sit there and you know, you know, tell you know, tell the truth till you're blue in the face. You know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if, if it's not what they want, then you know, then then they're gonna turn on you. You know, how many times have I apologized and been forgiven? 
How many times have I been forgiven from these people, you know, and, and only to have it just turned back around and used again? We don't like Charlie no more. We don't like Charlie no more. Let's all say because, this again. Let's start yeah, throwing. All, yeah, all because I wouldn't go. I wouldn't <laughs> go along with their plan, you know. Right. And apologize to Tina for what? You know, they wanted me to go online and apologize to Tina. I was last I checked, I wasn't the one that went on live stream with with Tina's ex husband. You know what I mean? To defame her. You know what I mean? It's it's so crazy, and now Isaac's all everybody that that he's turned on and used, you know, went against and stuff. Once they're back involved in the picture, he's kind of using them for clout and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Knowing that as soon as that that they need to push people away again, that he's going to be right there. In the end, he's probably going to be uh, um, winning out more than all. I swear to God. In, in the end, uh, you know, uh, when it comes down to it, you know, whenever he's done with Michael and stuff like that, he's got that's his that's his ace in the hole. You know what I mean? At the very end, when there's nothing left, boom, there's Michael. Yeah, but once he plays boom. that, it's over. Michael's still gonna exist. Well, Michael's well, the thing is, he's not gonna. Have... No, no, Michael's gonna. He's slowly getting, slowly losing. You know. He is. And and it's not what it used to be. You know, and it's not gonna be. But... Just, like you say, just imagine where we, where they're gonna be in another year. Right. The way things are going, where are they going to be at in another year? But he's also got a, like 100,000 people that watch him every day that don't even know who Isaac is and doesn't know about how horrible he is whenever he goes on the show and the live streams and the things he says and the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. I wonder if he's going to talk about it in a vlog. Like, we got rid of Doug because somebody didn't like his mod or whatever's going on. Yeah, well, we're just know? waiting to see that because apparently, <laughs> you know, they're getting their they're, they're getting their arsenal together and there's going to be a... Oh. Uh, the, the, a there's going to be an exposed video exposed. tomorrow. Exposed. Doug's now a pedophile, y'all. I'll expose him first. He's a pedophile. He's a drug uh, addict. That's, like, that's what we said. We just go ahead and we make a wheel and just spin it. He's got it. felonies. Uh, yeah, guys. We should make whatever. a wheel. We'll see Take bets on what's on. Sorry, Doug. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Charlie's world. You know? And, and, and it's, it's, it's sad and it's really telling. Like I say... You know, Michael is Michael's at the point where he can't defend any, any family. He can't do anything, say anything. It's sad that know, they're not allowed to have a voice. You know, without you know going, knowing that you know Isaac's gonna roll on him. You know, and I, Isaac, what kind of friendship is that? You I know? know, but still, at the same time, if Isaac did, he's not that big of a scary dude. Tell him to go somewhere, and like, that's it. That's why I say, like, Michael, just go it's ahead. It's not going to hurt, Michael. Just go ahead and do what you did with your last page troll. Go on Keemstar, you know, say that this guy was extorting dad and stuff like that, and get his channel taken or whatever, shut his voice off, and then everyone will be like, Isaac who? Yeah, Isaac, boo, you know what I mean? Right. Whatever. He'll be the next public enemy number one. You know, y'all are good about it. Y'all know how to do that. <laughs> I mean, that can be your way out of it. You He's know what too I mean? Scared. As He's opposed, too like scared of what's gonna come out. Of, there's <sighs> probably private conversations. There's a lot. There's, there's been recorded there's, conversations. There's probably Ill illegal stuff went down. You know, they both like. Like I say, when the shit hits the fan, man, that debris field, dude. Like, I don't know if either one of them gonna make it. Through. That's why they're I mean, like stuck together. And if they're he's going to go against his sisters and his father-in-law and whoever else to keep it under wraps. And, and Bridget now Bridget's in, in question. Like she has turned on her father. Mm -hmm. You know, and for what? I mean, yeah, for what? And if there is a reason, then I mean, whatever. Like we say, you know, <laughs> I was thinking maybe there's another reason is that they're trying to go ahead and cut off all the funds. You know what I mean? We thought that they were going to do that with Jennifer. Jennifer spoke out, as you guys saw, what, a month ago. Jennifer spoke out, and next thing you know, they're saying that she was a prostitute. You know, old, old, right. old Strangler Steve showing screenshots of her being a prostitute and stuff like that. Her Twitter was down, you know, I mean. <laughs> All lies, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, and that's done, happen, that's done happened twice now with Jennifer. Yeah, and then she says, I'm sorry. It happened with Kim. Uh, I'll be quiet. Whenever they tried to get us to say that Bowser was talking bad about Dad in his stream and stuff like that. Right. And Kim spoke out and they, were, they told Kim straight up, hey, shut the F up. So she deleted her Twitter for a little while. You know what I mean? Oh, man. I'm just wondering how long it's going to take before Doug, you know, closes his Twitter and stuff like that. Because you know that he's going through the ringer right now. Yeah, they're probably... I know everything that he's going through right now. He's being doxxed. You know, they're, they're calling his numbers. He's probably got to keep his phone on airplane mode and stuff like that. You know, he he said something about he doesn't have a phone anymore. He's just so it's straight Wi-Fi. So apparently he doesn't. He had to turn the number off. You know, mm -hmm. um, 
You know, he's wait, gonna have like five pizzas, or six trolls, like pizzas <clears throat> are gonna be going right at his house every ten minutes, talking about why are you trying to abuse your pregnant daughter. Yeah, that's horrible, man. Mm -hmm. Like, really, man? Is it like is is nothing sacred? I mean, honestly, dude, really, it's. <laughs> And I understand his family isn't sacred to Isaac because he doesn't have a family. Yeah. I mean, if you guys look at it, Isaac doesn't have a family. Neither does his wife, man. Like, neither one of them have their families. As a matter of fact, oh, he, but Charlie, he oh, went live. He went live oh. for what two hours straight, just bashing his mom to the point where his mom just tells everybody, "Yeah, Isaac's the devil. Yeah. Yeah, my son's the devil." Ain't nothing else she can you say know? about. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I mean, and you all see it. Like, there was a time where it was very hard for me, guys. Right When I first got out of rehab, and, like, it was just an everyday constant battle with this, you know. And I went to Mike, and I was like, please, man, just make him stop. I, I need this now more than ever, you know. And Mike was like, I can't, <laughs> you know. Just deal with it. You know, just ignore it. You know what I mean? And he told me we got too much on each other, and that was, dang... Two years ago, two and a half years ago, you know. I'm saying, oh my God, are we really going on two and a half years of this same crap? Of this same crap? <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. Flavio says, breathe, Charlie. Ha, ah, I know, right? Flavio, I'm going to be breathing fire, fire, fire. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Flavio I'm... is going to be sending us a nut challenge. Flavio wants us to try his nuts. <laughs> so, um... I'm not going to say that I'm going to do it, but it's really hard for me to turn down a challenge. Yeah, somebody was... Flavio said... Flavio told me not to, that he advises me not advising to eat these you nuts against that... It. But she did get a thumbs up from uh, Mr. Ted Barris, the, the fire-breathing idiot. Everyone go check him out, Ted Barris, the yes, FBI. Yes, I got the stamp of approval. The stamp of approval whenever he watched our video of us eating the chocolate. And uh, he said that was that's a legit challenge, and mm -hmm. uh, he gives you snaps for it. Even though you did dive into that that milk a little Real early, fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess uh, uh, Tommy and Trisha, what's up? Uh, Miss Tammy Samawu, what's up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, says, don't eat them. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Oh. So. I but yeah, and I understand that, uh, you know, that they're doing a lot of stuff right now to, you know, I guess also trigger me further, you know, like they really think that like the whole Tina situation tearing up dad's house and stuff. Do is, you really get triggered anymore? I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when was, when was the last time? Like a month ago? The and, last and, time and, was whenever you got a new Alabama. job and Fatty's on the phone on your first day of work. Why is he in there on the phone with your boss? He's just a stalker and harasser. And so you got mad. Oh, yeah. Okay. But like this everyday drama and him saying Charlie this and Charlie that and his live streams, does that trigger you anymore? Oh, no. Yeah, not at all. Exactly. That was like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that no, was like they went your live. Your brother's doxing your sister's information right. and workplace and everything else is going on behind the scenes. So they could say, look at Charlie. Charlie's mad. Ha, ha, ha. But other than that, we laugh at it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was actually, yeah, I was actually pretty mad about that. You know what I mean? Do we have a PayPal? No, we don't have a PayPal, guys. Every no. time we get a PayPal, it gets taken. They do some crap. So we can go through Messenger right now, guys. Messenger. And anything, anything right now can really help. <laughs> you know, I don't, I, I don't like begging and asking and stuff, you know. But we got a week till payday. One more week till payday. And uh, uh, yeah. And we put. Gas we did. We got in some. Our uh, Jay, Mr. <laughs> Jay Sadberry, thank you so much, brother. That re you really helped us out a lot, man. Yeah. Uh, you're amazing. Um, um, man, what was our other friend's name? Drew or uh, 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 Anthony? And we always uh, got to thank Drew, from Tennessee. of course. Drew, <laughs> Drew, Angry and Rebels. Drew. Pfft. You love yes. you, love you, Drew. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that goes without question. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, a lot, you know, a few guys you know, helped us out, and uh, we couldn't, you know, eight <laughs> this week without you, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I couldn't have gone to work, you know, without, you know, certain supplies that and I needed. Rebels, so. messenger, bitches. Yeah, that was really awesome <laughs> to you guys. And, uh, uh, yeah. But, yep. uh, but I do enjoy, you know, going to work, man. I'm working, um, uh, uh, getting back to paying bills and stuff like, like that. I do. I enjoy it. I, re I, I like my job a lot, guys. Do you like it better than your last job? I do like it better than my last job. A lot, guys. So, when door closes, things are going up. Went... Things are looking up. And, uh, and, yeah, I'm trying to stay positive. Like I said, I wanted to go ahead and, and get into... Uh, 
I wanted to discuss this. I wanted to get involved in what's going on right now because, uh, you know, as somebody that has that has gone through it and still goes through it on a daily basis, um, you know, Adam I, I feel... Adam says, check my messenger. I'm on I my feel, phone uh, right now, so I can't check my messenger. I feel that, uh, I feel I haven't lost my <laughs> train of thought. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys, too. Yeah, I feel... Charlie's talking, I'm talking. I feel like, you know, dang, um... Like, I need to say something, man. You know, like, like I know what, what he's going through right now. Nice and uh, I know how it feels, you know. And I know how it is, you know, as, you know, for Michael and them as influencers. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys have heard this new uh, term that, that uh, has, is being used for social media um, um, figures or whatever. But ultimately, they are influencing people, you know, they have the power and the ability, you know, to get inside people's heads and, 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 and you know, try to change the majority focus and, and, and the majority thought um, through through any means possible, uh, through whether it's true, uh, you know, uh, true information or just trumped up bullcrap, you know, and uh, like I say, to sit there and, and, and look at the what that their tweets and stuff like that. Uh, about, you know, Doug has turned into a monster over this last year. I, I can't, uh, you know, uh, 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 we are done with them for good, you know. And then people are just like, I'm sorry, Richard. I'm sorry, you know. I'm like, really? Like, <laughs> why do it now? Especially when we all why know. Do it like that? When I know the truth, and, and so many of you all, other people, you others, y'all know the truth as well. Y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> and for them to just sit there and just blatantly go out and say it anyway, <laughs> you know, um, uh, it, it, it's crazy, and, for, and, for, and still for like the majority to believe him, you know what I mean. But it's not really the majority, you know. More normally, Michael and Bridget they're getting what a thousand, fifteen hundred likes a tweet and stuff like that. This whole this whole attack going at Doug right now is really unfavorable, man. They're getting like four or five hundred likes. They're getting not even half of what they normally get. And Doug's has gone up through the roof. We were watching it, which we actually were Doug's just kind of getting a lot of love too. That's what before he we focus even knew on. what was going on. We just kind of, you know, Eric was like, "Hey, look, you know, Doug's he's Doug's not getting much love, you know." And it was like a couple of likes, you know, per live stream, and then no comments, you know. And now Doug's popped up to a hundred plus. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And. And that's people, what they don't realize either, is that they, like even with you, whenever they start attacking you, people just gather around you. Oh, yeah, exactly. You yeah, you know. You tons of love off of it. What they're doing is like, you know, the, the, whole, the whole faction is just splintered, guys. It is just destroyed, <laughs> you know. And it's all because of Isaac. He just wants to implant himself and so close to Michael, you know. Everybody get out of my way, you know. I'm going to step beside Michael, you know. He'll, uh, he'll go ahead and do that too, you know what I mean. <laughs> but, you know, he, he's done it with every single person in the family. All of Kimberly, Jennifer, me, Dawn, Doug. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly. Mom. <clears throat> he called Mom out way back when. Moved her off to uh, New York. Mm. You know what I mean? Let's not forget that that happened about eight years ago. And then use the whole divorce, you know, to do the bolster of the channel. Oh, I couldn't watch it then. Those were really bad times. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't living there, but I, I could not watch. You know, those were times where I would just get angry, you know. And I remember, like, walking in and seeing the boys watching it on YouTube on Saturday morning or whatever. When I was watching them back when Jennifer was living with Jamie, I, there was a period there that I was watching them. Uh, be before I had it, way before I had to channel any of that. But they you know? let the pedophile. Take care of kids. <laughs> uh, they really needed help. I mean, they really needed help. Really bad. But you know, they're sitting there watching those old videos. You know, mom leaving and the and the sad music. And I look over and Johnny's just, you know, just breaking their hearts. And I'm like, what's the matter? You know, and I miss I miss grandma. Yada yada. You know, and I mean, it affects everybody. You know what I mean? And then Michael, you know. He's just he, like he's just done done so much, and then he's he's involved so deep that he can't just step out of it. You know what I mean? That he has to throw everybody under the bus. You know really what I mean? Sad. To save face for himself. You know, and uh, he he can't feel good about it. He honestly cannot feel good about that. You know what I mean? For especially the ego that he has, he can't stand up to Isaac. He can't stand up and say, "Yo, man." Back off. You know what I mean? And everybody sees it. 
I laugh at him. Everybody sees it. Oh, I laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah, he goes he goes on these rants, dude. You know, and he just and he wants everybody to be so impressed with what he has. You know, whenever I'm sure he's just looking at Michael, just wishing he, you know, he wishes he had that big house, bought and paid not for. Not that renting he thing. He makes ten thousand a month. In. Why not? He does. You know, he wants he wants a he wants a Tahoe rather than that van they're driving around in. Right. You know what I mean? He wants a nice big backyard rather than pet cemetery. <laughs> he's got pet cemetery in his backyard. <laughs> You know what I mean? And, and then he's trying to brag about this little three hundred dollar Apple Watch. Right. I thought the man had a Rolex or something. You know? Oh God! It's like, you know. Whenever he already <sighs> says that he buys and sells it on the internet to so make money. So when I'm sitting there just looking and just laughing, dude, <laughs> just oh my goodness! <laughs> there, remember, there was a time whenever he would sit there and post his earnings, right? His his uh, his, his uh, social blade earnings or whatever. His uh, YouTube studio. He don't do that no more. Guy. Yeah. That's his career. Since Miss uh, Miss Miss Cotton took off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hasn't really been raking it in now. You know, you see the little dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine, <laughs> but it doesn't matter to him because you know he his job is to destroy my life. Michael <laughs> pays career. this man. It's his career. It's his career. Michael pays this guy. You know, to, oh. to, I'm on, I'm on the con, I'm on the daily docket. You know what I mean? Because I just won't shut up. Now. now, now he's working overtime. Michael's had to start forking out a little oh, more now. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Mike was paying this guy to attack his own family. For how long now? What's new? Oh, man, I know. So, Doug, we're with you, man. Um, you inadvertently uh, told everybody that, that pretty much that I didn't hit Bridget. <laughs> you know, Michael did that for you. Michael did you that You don't even for have you. to apologize. That Michael was the one that put all that and out there. And they always there. say, oh, but don't forget, Charlie Charlie admitted to it. That, Charlie admitted and apologized. Yeah, Do y'all yeah. remember that video? Please, somebody, find that video. Yeah, that video where I still, I still said that I don't Let's remember. Let's watch again what Charlie said. I still do not remember hitting her. And the thing about it is, guys, I came back from the hospital afterwards. You know, they had done got me cleared to go. I was sober. I knew I... I I remember all my surroundings. Took a, uh, 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 mm -hmm. a whatever the Uber straight back to the ha to the uh, pool house and. And the same reason you did that video <laughs> was the same and reason. And then they were like, "We ain't heard nothing from Jennifer in a long time because you kind of went, okay." They uh. I'll do. <clears throat> you know. You know they they told me you know just just go ahead and just admit it. You know, and then and, and then and then and then we'll and then we'll call people off you yada yada. Another so I went ahead too, and I admitted it. And then the things stuff just got worse. Oh, you're trying to hit her, yada, yada, yada. Yes. They got worse. I was like, man, you really just did this to me, man. Right. <laughs> you really just did this. And then I was still in the position where I was like, Michael, please. And if y'all guys saw, I got, I even got rolled on by Nikki, the only person that I, that I thought had my back. Did Doug ever say that you hit Bridget? Nope. Yeah, he, <laughs> that's why everybody's like, nope. well, why, did, why didn't Doug do anything about it? Because there was no, yeah. Because there was nothing, I mean... But then, yeah, you know, so, I mean, I, I mean, when I, Doug so was asked about, about it, about Doug, to go live Doug on the Appalachian said, Trail, you know what I mean? Doug just kind of... Mark Andrew no Collins comment. says he was blacked out, they lied on Charlie. See, the thing is, I was blacked out until, I, so they took me to the hospital. If you guys remember, they gave me the option, hospital or jail, and I said, all right, I'll go to the hospital. Oh. So they took me to the hospital. Jesse Rivas, we got a troll in the house. So, uh, so I went to the He's hospital. Super I drunk. know, yeah, I'm tore up. <laughs> so, um... So I went to the hospital. I elected to go to the hospital. And I was there for a good five, six hours, you know what I mean, until, you know, they deemed me clear enough to go home in the head and, you know, sober enough. They weren't just going to let me, you know, this drunk man wobble out, drunk, you know, uh, violent man wobble out of their hospital. That would have been a lawsuit to them if I had walked out there and kicked somebody's ass or something or got run over, or, you know what I mean? So I was, I was sober. I knew, I remember everything. You know what I mean? But just, you know, just to just go ahead and just get along and put all that crap behind me, I was like, yeah, you know, I did it, you know? But you didn't even really say that. You said, I don't remember. I said, if I don't remember. If my family says I did it, they wouldn't lie about then that. I, yeah. And I'm sorry for any problems that I caused, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I throw myself at the mercy of the court. And then, you know, they went ahead and used that against me. Yep. Oh, my God. So, so just like they do everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's in there? Oh man. I, this is called tarantula. It's a tarantula. <laughs> yeah. Seagrams. 
No, what's that blue stuff called? I hate there's sapphire. Some, there's some stuff called tarantula. Bombay I always sapphire. wanted to try, but I never did. It had like, it had like candy in the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah, and I always wanted to try it, and it was like a blue type liquor, but <laughs> I never did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we poke around and we say things on Twitter and stuff and Facebook, and it's like fun and games, and we laugh at it. And other than that, we usually don't get on vlog and do videos and address stuff like this, but sometimes we feel like it. So I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond back, but I'm figuring out ways and and how to respond back. You know what I mean? Uh, rather than you know letting stuff get to me and then just like speaking, you know, uh, uh, um, speaking too rash too soon. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, letting myself actually kind of let it sink in and and Miss and... Tessie, <laughs> thank you, Miss Tessie. I really, really love it. Yes, yes. Uh, love you, Miss Tessie. Tessie. Yes. Hey. Y'all go check her out again at Five Dollar Jewelry. True bling, right there on the bottom. Tease Five Dollar Jewelry, bling right there. Boom, boom, boom. I think I had Get the camera some. looking at me. Adam Craig, Michael, Charlie. Why does Michael wear jorts all the time? <laughs> I don't know, honestly, man. I think maybe, you know, he's a bigger guy, you know, so he gets hot and stuff wearing Star -star. pants. Maybe it's harder for him to put pants on. You know, he's a big person. So, um, is there anybody, is there any questions here, man? Anybody that, that, that uh, has been asking a question maybe tonight that we haven't answered yet? Justin um, Anderson, any new games you've been playing? I've been playing Skyrim. I've been stuck on Skyrim, honestly. <laughs> um, uh, we're thinking about getting back into Re uh, Red Dead again here in a couple of weeks, or maybe a little sooner than that, because I cannot... I don't know how much more Skyrim I can play, guys. It's melting my brain. I played a round of Dead by Daylight the other day, and I escaped. Yeah, she loves Dead by Daylight. I can't play it. Gets it my nerves bad, though. I can't play it. it get, exactly, nervous, man. I get, I get really nervous, yeah. <laughs> uh, where's another one? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Melissa Constance. Do you think it's inspired by the McMahon family from WWE, Charlie? You know how the family turned uh, <laughs> against each other all the time. No, honestly, <laughs> I think it's all inspired by Michael's ego. You know what I mean? Um, he has completely forgot who wow, he is, where he's come from. You know what I mean, and uh, I believe I believe it's all campaign just to crush anybody that that may uh, uh, have a difference of opinion from him. You know what I mean. He has to surround himself around yes men, you know, uh, around people uh, that serve to him and only to him. And um, and if and if he feels like you're a threat, then he's gonna go ahead and do what he has to do to um, uh, to neutralize you know. Uh, ne neutralize that threat, and, uh, uh, and the the, um, the spirit of self-preservation, honestly, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? It says, Mike Jones is Mike in the Jones. house, Mike Jones. What's up, brother? I love him. Uh, Adam Craig He's my best says, friend. Charlie, has Michael ever talked behind Isaac's back before? And yeah, it's so funny, like, uh, whenever I was living in the pool house, I remember I wanted to tell it is right, because I was thinking about it when I said something about that van that they drive around in. <laughs> so, um... Uh, I was living in the pool house and uh, rounding up on a hundred thousand, doing my thing and doing it well, and uh, and this was at the time where YouTube was kind of falling off. Like the ad was called the Adpocalypse. I don't know if you guys remember this, but the Adpocalypse hit. It hurt, you know, for everybody. And Michael was using that as an excuse to not pay people, <laughs> people that were just pretty much living off the, the teat. Um, you know, Michael was sit, was able to sit there and say, hey, you know, um, you know, it's not, I don't have it this month, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? And he had a legit re uh, reason, you know, to fall back on. And so, uh, he had pretty much gave all the down payment for them to get this little van that they got, a little gold minivan type deal. And, uh, uh, apparently he couldn't come up with the first payment or something, you know, and uh, he kept calling Michael up, calling him up, calling him up, and Michael wasn't answering the phone, Michael was like, I know what he wants, he wants, you know, he's about to lose his van, you know, and he started reading me these comments and stuff that I was like, man, my van, you need to check out my video, or he come out with a new song called In My Shoes or something like that, you know, and this is back before Isaac knew, but anybody knew Isaac, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, and uh, he's, he's sitting there singing the song about how hard it is to walk in his shoes, you know, I mean, I guess physically, I can understand that, but you know, other than that, his journey, even to this day, hasn't gone very far, you know. 
But uh, but anyway, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna so, be nice. So yeah, so uh, Michael showed me some text <laughs> that he was that he that they had back and forth, and Isaac was like uh, uh, talking about his new uh, his new uh, song in my shoes, and then. Uh, and then a, a couple of ha ha, and then it rolled in about to get the van repossessed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need some money or whatever. And then Michael, Michael hit back with something like, uh, oh, well, now you really gonna know what it feels like to be walking in those shoes or whatever. <laughs> and then Isaac was like, ha ha ha, that's fucked up or whatever. But you know, deep down, he was like, ah, you son of a gun, you know. Crystal Johnson. What am I gonna do? Um, ask him, what is Doug's channel? Doug's channel. Oh, Dougie West oh, 6280 or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Dougie Doug. Everybody go show Doug some support, man. I know he's going to need as Yo, much as he can Doug. right now, yep. bro. It is ridiculous how hard, how, how you know, how hard that they, these people go. Um, it's just straight Dougie West. D-U-G-G-I-E West. There you go. Get you a quick look at that. And yeah. So... Um, <laughs> someone says, Charlie, make me laugh. <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? Oh, gosh, Rebecca has the question. Oh, God. The weirdest and the wildest thing ever done while exploring. All right, so we were kind of, uh... You asked that on Twitter, and I tried to answer it for you, but it turned into, like, a whole long conversation. Yeah, we ended up thinking about a bunch of stuff. A bunch of wildest. A bunch of wildest got arrested in on, on uh, in Ghost Town. My well, not arrested, there, but you're gonna go to you're gonna yeah. He's like come up with his guns and stuff. You know I can shoot you right now. I got pit bulls that'll chew your face <laughs> he was, off. Like this big up to me. Yeah. He's got like this big machine gun. It's like almost dragging the ground. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like I'm sorry, sir. I respect you. I respect this place. Like, you don't respect this place. I'm, I'm gone. Dogs could have killed you. I'm like, thankfully though, man. Honestly, thankfully there were no dogs, guys. Oh my god, Another could you thing, imagine? Another thing, though, walking across that dang train trestle. That's like way up in the air, and I've got anxiety. Yeah. And I promise, not even 30 seconds after I took my last step off that train thing, we heard poop, poop, and I. Oh, it was so. Let's see scary. here. Uh, so a couple people have asked us, uh, Jessica Trish. And a couple other people asked us, Story Fire. Asked yeah. me, I think Story Fire is uh -huh. just like stories and pictures or whatever. And also, I don't think that I... We should you know, try it. Let's Michael, see how long we'll Yeah, last. I know, right? Like Michael, <laughs> Michael and McJuggernuggets are best friends like that. Well, I don't know, yeah. you know. I know McJuggernuggets and Michael were, were good friends. And, we should try. And, you know, McJuggernuggets own Story Fire, so... You know Charlie ain't gonna last long. <laughs> Mike's gonna like get him off, get him get off. off, and that's that's exactly what's gonna happen. You know, I wish that uh, uh, Joe B would not be happy with that trade. Yeah, we know she said that Sorry, when it happened. Sorry, Joe B. But uh, uh, you know, I wish that I wish that me and Michael can come together and talk. You know, that we can we can work this out. You know, together like as brothers. You know, as family. Behind the scenes, you know what I mean, without any interference, without somebody, you know, that wants to shoulder in for their own personal gain or whatever, you know. Uh, uh, I'm sure that Michael would love to, would probably love, who knows, I don't know. I think, you know, who knows anymore. Like Mike said, Michael has lost who he is, you know. Uh, you know, the, y he, he built this whole thing off of us being white trash, having nothing. You know what I mean? And now he's spending, you know, he's bragging about, you know, spending $25,000 on wrestling tickets and stuff like that, you know. And, Do it, buddy. And, and, and eating, eating the most expensive steaks and stuff like that, you know. And, and I'm just like, why, man? Like, you know, it's crazy. Like, that doesn't impress me, man. Like... I'm not about the material things, man. You see... And it doesn't impress the youngins oh, either. The youngins man. were impressed by the realness. That's what I'm saying. A lot of them, you know, they, they, they feel that disconnect. You know what I mean? Uh, it does impress the, the, the little snippers, you know, the little 13-year-olds and 14-year-olds, the ones that want to grow up to do YouTube and be YouTube stars and stuff because it's so, it's so you know, easy and cheap and glamorous, you know? It's all that good stuff. And, um... So they see that in Michael, and they want that, you know what I mean? But, um... It's your PS4 handle. Yeah, my PS4 Sean handle Patterson, is ISO Realm. I-S-O-R-E-A-L-M. 
I'm trying to change it, but they won't. I don't see the option right now. They said that you can start changing your PlayStation handle now for ten dollars a pop. First time is free, but I don't see how to do it. So, uh, let's see here. Try, try. Yeah, at least y'all aren't using AGP to build your channel like Mike was, and still trying. You to You know do. what? They've done every That's single like, thing they can to get Charlie gone. They don't yeah. want you seeing Charlie it's, at all. It's so sad, you know, like. <laughs> Like, like, Boop. like, they, they took so much away from me, man. You know, not just, like, the channel and stuff like that. They took away my chance to say goodbye to Dad. You know what I mean? Dad had to go ahead and, and pass away with all that drama going on. When was the last time you talked to your mom? No, it was all bull crap. Mom's having to send me messages privately. I didn't want to put that out there, but, you know, she's having to relay messages to other people to kind of send to me because she's, she's afraid she'll be, she can't, yeah, she'll be in trouble for trying to talk to her son. She was worried about me when I went to Alabama. It's all sad stuff. You know what I mean? Can you show, show Doug's um, YouTube again? Uh, Felicia Whitman Johnson? Yeah. Yeah, it's just straight Dougie West. D-U-G-G-I-E. West. Dougie Doug. Dougie Fresh. And uh and yeah, you know, so like I like I say, man, I've been you know, I've been doing good. I've been trying to stay out of the, the drama and stuff like that. And I'm trying to take things in stride in certain ways where you know it, it's not gonna uh it's not gonna affect me, you know, negatively. And um but it's like I say it's I I'm still gonna speak up when I have to. I'm still gonna address things when I got to, and uh, and I and I feel sad. It really is, you know, that they're using this whole pregnancy thing as a uh, a thing to try to shut Doug up. You know what I mean? To say, uh, oh, you're stressing us out, you know, with uh, you know extorting money and stuff. And like these are things that you can't take back, guys. Like honestly, these are things that you cannot take back. Once you guys say these things, and you know, saying you got to live behind them, you got to stand behind them, you know. And some of these things that you guys say, you know what I mean, you start to believe it. You know, you start to believe your own bull crap. You know, you hey, guys, you guys, problem. you guys have said and done so many things about me that you can't take back. You know, that you can't come forward and say, oh, I lied about this without, you know, looking like, you know, a complete piece of dog crap. And I understand that. I really do. And, uh, uh. Part of me is like, you know, still hopeful for some kind of thing with us, but it's because I can see just how, you know, how, e how easily it is for y'all to twist stuff and slide it under the rug, <laughs> you know. But I got to tell you, you know, if we if we were to ever to try to hash things out and work together and stuff, there is going to be, you know, you know, hiding stuff under the rug and, and twisting stuff up, and we're going to keep what we need to keep private, private. But there are certain things that that we need to uh, face publicly. Certain things that we need to address publicly. Because um, it's been thrown but, out there. But, because it's been thrown out there. Because y'all made the mistake of turning turning things into what they became. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, they're, you know, rather than de-escalate in certain situations and trying to take care of it maturely and quietly. You know what I mean? You went ahead and... Let's you know, call just, the trolls and let the trolls take care of it. I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the sad thing about it is, you know, the whole channel is built around this whole family uh, family dynamic of where we're all pretty messed up and stuff, but we're still we're still a, a, a tight knit unit. We're still here for one another, you know. And uh, uh, you built that up since what two thousand and eight, two thousand and seven, two thousand eight. You started in yeah two thousand seven, two thousand eight. You know, and you destroyed it within two years. You know, you build it all the way up to four, uh, 2016 where I messed up. I, I will admit I had my problems and stuff like that. You know, but instead of, chain, uh, instead of dealing with it correctly, you went ahead and just threw shit at our situation until the whole situation just became shitty. You know what I mean? Within two years now, you've got, you've got, you, you, you are established as having a henchman that you pay to take out people that are threats to you and majority of them happen to be family mm -hmm. family and family friends that's your legacy that you you've done turn the angry grandpa show and kid in the camera kid behind the camera into what it is today what we were talking about right now yep adam craig says doug said that you never hit bridget that it was all, all a setup. set up yeah we saw that doug we, said we that. saw that you know and it you know the, like i said the truth is going to come out 
You know, it's crazy. Like everything that I've said, <laughs> you know, you know, it's, it's, it's coming to light. The Wolfpack already knew that. I already knew that. I knew it. I knew it since before I met you. Since before <laughs> everything. I knew I didn't hit her, you know. But like I say, I was, I, I, I was uh, emotionally blackmailed into, you know, admitting and saying that I did. You know what I mean? Just, you know, because I just wanted to be in a freaking family again. I just wanted to fix things and go back to how thing, how, how we were and stuff. But, you know, just certain people just could not let that happen. You know what I mean? Still can't. Still can't let that happen. And here we are going on three mm -hmm. years, guys. We're about to be going on three years of the same stuff. It all went down, what, July 6th? July July. 3rd, July 2nd, something like that? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But for Doug to actually have been there when it went down, and for him to sit there and say privately to Michael, he didn't privately just come out, he, he didn't come out and just sit there and just spit it all to everybody. He did this privately to Michael. And then Michael, Michael says, blew oh, it up gosh. into what you he's twisted gonna, it. He's gonna say this, guys. Look what he's yeah, trying he's to gonna say. Yeah, he's gonna play. Yeah, yeah. Doug's this. You know. Doug's that. So. Thanks. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly. Yep. Michael has done a lot for me, man. Like he, like he's, Michael went live and was like, "Oh, Charlie needs to thank, be thank, thank me for having Erica." If I didn't, if I didn't bully him and have him dox and all that, <laughs> he went ahead and just admitted all this crap happened. If all that happened, he wouldn't have ran, fell in Erica's arms. And you know what? It's true. It is Thank damn you. true. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you for that too. <laughs> but you know what? It was up to me to, for, as far as staying. <laughs> you took a chance. You know, you did. Like you made like. You, like, you didn't believe I was all that that they were saying, but you didn't know exactly how I was. Right. You took that chance, and I got to thank you. And you know what? I loved your brother and Bridget and Jennifer and yeah. Kim. Y'all can go on my Twitter and go to my media and flip to, like, mm -hmm. the first pictures on Twitter, and there's a picture of me and Kim, and I talked about how much I love Kim, and she was so sweet and warm whenever I met her. Mm -hmm. And y'all can see my page, and it says... Happy birthday, Erica. Hope it's full of laughs and angry grandpa. Like, since 2011. That's why yeah. I went to the memorial. I mean, I loved the family. And to see how things are behind the scenes and lose so much respect for people that you used to care so much about, it's really sad. Yeah. Really remember sad. Remember I kept telling y'all, I was like, you'll see. And y'all remember you'll in see. the beginning, I never said nothing, nothing bad against bad, yeah. Nothing, nothing. I always wanted to do my part to make things better. But then they straight come out and po and bash me and they're, yeah, you know. snaggle too. Yeah. And, and to the point where like even had even let Isaac call your work on live stream. Yeah. Even let Isaac call her oh, work I on live stream private, and harass her. I got her. a private DM saying that Michael was on three way, not for that yeah, call, but whenever he was calling my boss and talking about he's he's an investigator and he needs information from my boss man about me and my boss told him. Supposedly, yeah. you know, it's just uh, everything got thrown at me. So to where now I've lost respect for people that I once really cared about, and it's really sad. But let's see. Kyle Roberts asked, "When did Isaac chase Kim away?" Well, this goes back to whenever they were wanting to bring Charlie back. Yep. They were wanting to bring Charlie back to the channel. Uh, uh, so they went ahead and had. Isaac went ahead and made up with me. Isaac, Isaac had turned this corner. You know, he was he was tired of just his channel being the same shit. <laughs> you know that that He's had be a good guy. As it had been, he, he was ready to 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 mature and grow, going to the next level. <laughs> but I guess it, I guess that required peace between him and Charlie. Peace in the valley between him and Charlie too, you know. So I was like, cool. He just wants you on the stream because that's where the numbers come. And he was telling me, I knew, I know, I knew all, I know, I've been in this game longer than you know anybody here watching really right now, you know, even Isaac himself, you know. And so I knew what was what, and I was like, look, I just want to try to get back in touch with Michael. And Isaac's like, I can facilitate that. I can let that. I can make that happen, you know. So I was just like, fine, push the button, uh, you know what I mean. And uh, and so I went on the channel and I went ahead and Kimberly had caught wind about it and was not happy about it. Because like after Kimberly, like I said, Kimberly is one of the ones that, 
you know, made one of the most horrible, vicious lies out of all of them, you know what I mean? And she's got to stand behind that lie until the day she dies. There's no way that she can come forward and admit that she lied about the things that, 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 that she came forward and, and, you know, and, you know, and admitted, you know? And, uh, so that was going to make her look bad, you know what I mean? That, uh, that, uh, it's okay. that, that I was going to be coming back, you know what I mean? That it was pretty much going to be saying, you know, hey, we were lying, you know, but we're not just going to say it. We're not going to say it. We're just, just going to, we're go just going to move on. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but somebody had to, to take the downfall. So they were using Bowser as a fallout guy saying that Bowser was very, Beth just, Ann Stanley. Much love, Beth Ann. Ah, is that a friend of yours? Yeah. So they used, uh. Uh, they used Bowser as some kind of fallout guy, you know, to be the segue of peace between me and, and Isaac. You know, we were going to break bread, break bread by breaking Bowser, Bowser apart. And uh, Bowser didn't say anything bad about Dad. You know, I couldn't even say, I was like, I didn't hear anything per se. And that, that, that was my story. I stuck behind it. But Kimberly was like, she was using the Bowser thing as a way to uh, 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 speak up against Isaac for wanting to talk to me, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, she's like, oh, I didn't hear Bowser say anything or whatever, yada, yada. Which a couple of days before, you know, saying she was team guest mob, you know, screw Bowser or whatever. Now Bowser didn't say anything, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Was, uh, the whole underlying issue <laughs> was, was Charlie coming back. And uh, so Kimberly started speaking up and was speaking up for Bowser. And uh, it was making Isaac look bad. And so Michael pretty much went on Twitter and told her publicly, yo, shut up. Keep your mouth closed. You don't know what's going on. We're taking care of this. You weren't there. You didn't hear what we heard. And uh, Kimberly was all embarrassed and stuff, and she deactivated her Twitter for a while. Mm -hmm. Everyone, you know, everyone saw it and stuff. And um, who knows how long that lasted behind the scenes between them two, if it's still going on, you know. Um, because, like I say, the money is drawing up for Michael and stuff, and... Uh, He's cutting, he's cutting corners. I feel a part of it is he's cutting corners. He's cutting Doug out. Howdy from Glasgow. Much love, John Paul. Hey, John yeah, Paul. Well, glad to see you here. Look, and Ms. But Leanne's the, from there, too. Like the money's drying up, you know. Um, Kimberly don't have a job. Hasn't had a job in years, from what I hear from family. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Doug, who knows what he was doing. I remember he had quit a while back or whatever. Hopefully he's... Hopefully he's able to take care of himself. He has been taking care of himself. He um, Jennifer, you know, they got her going and going to classes and stuff like that, you know, to be able to take care of herself. Um, the only ones left there is Isaac, you know, and eventually that Band-Aid's going to, well, I don't even know. To be honest with you, I'm not sure that, that it's ever going to be, that Band-Aid will ever be pulled. That umbilical cord will ever be severed because, you know, just the blowback. You know what I mean? And I thought, I thought, I, th I honestly thought, I was like, okay, you know what? Bridget's pregnant. She's not going to let any, any more money go out to this, to this guy. Mm -hmm. She's going to say, okay, it's done. But then to see how she rolled on her own father today <laughs> over, over some petty bullcrap war that Isaac wanted to pull with whoever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? All because he doesn't have a job. He has no way of making any income. So he has to constantly stir up drama and stuff like that. And keep Michael on edge. And, and believing that this person's against him. And that person's against him. To keep that money coming in. And he has to constantly keep creating more fake news. And bullcrap. You know to keep the people coming in. And the, sad, the, the, the scary thing about it is. Is when you sit there. And uh, uh, if you watch. You know people give me send me, send me screenshots all the time. About, you know, how the, the money is just going down for him as far as live streaming the drama. You know, so he's got to twist it. He's got to twist the bolts behind the scenes mm -hmm. in order to pay those Rinna bills. Todd King says they're saying that Doug demanded money from Bridget. <laughs> and, and it's always like that. Why is it only coming out now? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Why, why is it only coming out now? See, that's what they did. Uh, Doug went ahead and you know, felt threatened and stuff, so he, you know, you know, threatened to, you know, expose them for not, for, uh, you know, tell the truth about Lies. me not hitting Bridget, and they went ahead and used that uh, to make it look like he's extorting them, right. you know, the same thing happened, and I don't know if y'all remember Dylan for the win. Oh, he's still around, I see him on Twitter. Dylan for the win was Isaac before Isaac came around. Mm-hmm. And Dylan pretty much muscled his way into the family, like pretty much like Isaac's doing. 
Um, and he actually came to the house for Thanksgiving, you know, and uh, he started getting a little bit, and then he started twisting, you know, more, wanting more, you know, a little more and wanting more, you know, and um, uh, Michael got to the point where he was like, that's when he went to Keemstar, somebody, you know, of high enough standing that can help defame this guy to the point where, you know, anything that he said would be, you know, wouldn't have any credibility to it whatsoever, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And the funny thing is, you know, with everything that, that they have said and done, nothing that they say honestly has any credibility. You know, the only credibility that they have is that number. You know, that, that subscriber count that he yep. has. You know what I mean? If he didn't have that subscriber count, he wouldn't have nothing in life. And from what I heard uh, the other day, uh, if that's all you have, then you don't deserve it anyway. He had all this potential and all this time to create something special and lucrative and he just squandered it away on Chucky dolls and, and Chinese food. You know what I mean? You look at McJugger Nuggets, this guy that has been doing it almost around the same time as Michael, twice the subscribers, because he puts in twice the work. That's what I was going to say. He works hard on it. He puts thought into it. He, all that. You know, Michael just sat there and just rode, just swam in Dad's wake for 10 years, you know? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as Dad passed, you know, just... They probably pay Cindy to be the maid. They do. <laughs> obviously. Oh, obviously. That's Come why I on, said right? that. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, they actually that's bought her video. company. Yeah, that's on vlog. They, so. bought, they bought her company and stuff. She was, wasn't was doing anything before that. And then that's crazy. Like, she also is going after Doug. I wonder if she believes it. Or if she knows, she knows the truth. She's been around long enough. She's seen the games played. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Donna of Davis, what's up? Says Charlie, after all the dirty stuff Mike and the family did, could you ever stand to make peace with them? I couldn't. <sighs> I mean, I probably could. If they were genuine about it, you know what I mean? I'm man enough and, I, and I'm mature enough, you know what I mean? Uh, that I could forgive them, and I, you know? Because at the end of the day, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not the person that they all make me out to be. You know what I mean? And time has told that. You know what I mean? There's not a lot that I have to reconcile with on my part. You know, I'm at peace. You know? There are some truths that I came out with, you know, that maybe I shouldn't have. You know? But I mean, when you get backed into a corner like I was, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're a dog. You're going to bite back. You know? I'm a man. You know? And I have, a, I have pride. Sometimes pride... You know, pride comes before the fall. Beth Ann Stanley says you and Erica against the world. <laughs> That's I how I give her been. a shout out. Her and her beautiful wife, I worked with them before, and she really took up for me the other day. There was somebody saying something nasty on Facebook, and she told them how it was, and I saw that girl. I see ya. Mwah. I love uh -huh. y'all. And they're not far from here, so y'all might get to meet them one day. Nice. They're super fun. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think the Wolf Pack would like Beth and Ashley. <laughs> silly, silly girls. <laughs> Stacy mm. Robertson says she loves the necklace. Thank you. Thank you. I just got it as a gift. And so you go and check out T's True Bling and get you some. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anna Valdez says, yeah, they took everything from you. Yeah, and it was sad, like I say. They tried, but they if you, didn't. If you guys don't remember, you know, like I said, they, they took me from, they took my goodbye from Dad. I mean, yeah. not not really. I got to say goodbye to Dad on a Greyhound bus, you know, while they were telling the whole world that they weren't stopping Charlie from coming. Now, here's the thing I thought about it the other day. They told everybody, they were like, we're not stopping Charlie from coming and saying goodbye to his father. He can come and say goodbye. While inside... The inside track was I wasn't allowed. You know, they told the, do the the hospital and stuff, no, Charlie is not, you know, to, to be allowed anywhere near, you know, the room. He's not supposed to know the number, anything. But then they're telling all of you guys that Charlie uh, uh, can, can come say goodbye, and if he doesn't, he's a piece of shit. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And then if that's the case, why did they have Isaac yep. drive seven hours to stop me from saying goodbye to my father whenever they, whenever I had all rights to be there? Whenever you know, they were saying crazy. that I was allowed there, but then they called Isaac there to stop me. You see how I just constantly just... I was const in tears watching all of those videos. And I remember they were standing outside the hospital and Kim was there. And somebody walked by and said, are you making YouTube videos or something? Yeah. 
Yes. I was devastated for those whole months. I, I wasn't remember watching any of them. Very vividly. Yep. <clears throat> so. So. Yeah, it's just the, this manipulation, you know. It's just, it's just, it's just gotten. It's got to end, man. It really does, dude. It's. How far is it gonna go? You know, like I say, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna end up between Michael and Isaac. You know. I say it just pull the plug and it's just gonna get have rid to. Of them. Who you know, cares? how can you live you in that get kind over of? It. How can you live with that kind of? You know, just fear over your head of constantly being exposed and stuff. I grew up the type, you know what I mean? I'll expose my damn self. Yeah. Oh, you think you got something on me? I'll go ahead and tell the whole damn world. Fuck you. Because <laughs> like growing up as a, as, as a, uh, the oldest, Michael and them always tried to pull this blackmail crap on me. You know what I mean? And I'll, I'll tell them my damn self. I don't give a shit. I'll take the, I'll take the consequences, you know? And then I have. Mm-hmm. I have. But everybody sees that, too. That's why everybody knows that... Everybody knows, man. Charlie's gonna tell it like it is. I'm gonna tell it like it is. Mm. Even, just like Doug said, even Mr. if it costs Alicia me everything. Alicia in the house. What up, pretty girl? Alicia and Miss Morticia Adams. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> She's another oh, one going yeah. through it. And I was like, you know, part of me was like, man, what the hell? Because, like, Morticia was one of, like, one of my oldest Facebook friends. Yeah. Honestly. And like, Jenny, too. Like, uh, the family. Who? Jenny. Jenny who? Your sister. Oh. I believe. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, no, nah, me and Jenny has always had problems and stuff like that. No, no. I'm talking about Morticia and Jenny. Oh, well, I'm Just talking about, I'm talking, yeah, she's well, been around. since 2013, since I've had Facebook, me and Morticia were friends, you know, and when I found out that she was working on the panel with Isaac, I was like, hurt a little bit, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and even with Steve, dude, like, honestly, like, Steve was a friend of mine since like 2014 or something, you know, and he just seemed like... Such a positive freaking influence or whatever, you know, to see where this guy is now, dude. It's like, everything's topsy-turvy, you know? Wow, and, uh, that's well, like you know, a walk, You know, walk, Alicia, you know, Miss Morticia, you know, she, uh, she saw things for what they were finally, and she decided to speak up. And you see, she gets attacked, you know? Bowser spoke up, he got attacked. Uh, you know, at Jennifer, attack. Carmela, attack. Doug, attack! You know, I just oh my god, dude! It's it's become it's become a a a pattern. It's become it's become a a pattern that people see and they recognize, and uh, everything that 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 Michael and Bridget do now is, is pulled into question. Even the fact that damn that 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 Bridget's pregnant. Like, there's people. So many people are asking me right now, do I believe Bridget's pregnant? The, the honest answer is, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. These people, they lie and they manipulate so much. It's like I want to believe it. I just I honestly do. don't know. I want to believe it. I don't want to believe that they're so scheming and deviant, you know, that they could lie about something like this. But look at... But I can they tell you they, they they have had worse lies. I am a molester in, the, you know, a court, mm -hmm. in, in, in their storybook, you know? And that's something that, I mean, I'll never forget. But, I mean, I'll do my best to forgive. Right. I mean, I put myself in their shoes. I still wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I still wouldn't do them like that, you know. We've already had one person in the family. I've already had one person in the family get uh, falsely accused of, of uh, you know, sexual misconduct, of molestation. Somebody very close to me. Somebody very close to them. You know what I mean? And we all lived through that. We had our family tore apart. By, you know, disgusting lies and accusations, you know, that part of me feels like, like I'm responsible for, you know, because I won't bring anyone else into it, but I was abused by this person who in turn turned around and accused somebody else of, and I knew it was bullcrap, I know that I had been abused, why didn't I speak up when it happened back when I was 11 years old? When it happened to this person, you know, why didn't I speak up? Why didn't, you know, I, and I thought about that the other day, you know, but I was like, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault this person destroyed the family, you know. But we all grew up in this, you know, Jennifer, oh, no, I'm not going to say, you know, but we all grew up, 
you know, with, you know, just, you know, these lies about molestation and stuff that has just destroyed the family completely. And, you know, for them to sit there and, and, and continue to cycle with me, their own flesh and blood and stuff, you know, it's by my own flesh and blood. It's, it's shocking, man. It, 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 it's to this day, it still hurts and it always will hurt. You know what I mean? That, that kind of betrayal just doesn't go away easily, you know? But, uh, but I'm, I'm willing to try to see things from their side, you know what I mean? And, and, and forgive them, you know? God, you hate to say they don't know any better, you know? Well, like I say, you know, Michael has completely lost touch with who he, who he is, you know, who he, what, you know, what made Michael, Michael, you right. know, he's just, and what he, made Charlie, Charlie, uh, and what it, made Grandpa, Grandpa, you know, he, the, the clout and the fame, you know, the numbers have, have totally changed him, that's all he has left anymore is this house full of crap, you know, and that number beside his name, you know, that could be gone tomorrow, and he used to always preach that, you know what I mean, that, uh, you know, that, oh, I know that this could all be gone tomorrow, you know, but he has never done anything about it, you know, to, to, to save, bug on my head. <laughs> you know, the only, the only, the only kind of self-preservation that he is, that, that he is, uh, uh, displayed, you know, is just throwing his own family under the bus and anybody, you know, that he feels, you know, uh, you know, is a threat to him. And I never wanted any of this, I never wanted it to get to this. You know what I mean? Like I say, I, I went to rehab to get better. I spent thirty thousand dollars. I still got it. I still owe thirty, like not thirty thousand, but close to thirty thousand dollars to this damn rehab. You know what I mean? To help me try to get better. And then once I get out, it's just back to the same crap. You know what I mean? I couldn't hide. Um. Hey guys. Um. In the hospital from a heart attack today. I work. Wow. Josh oh, Bacon. Josh Bacon. Get better, dude. I'm glad that you're well enough to be here joining us. Sorry so, to hear that, welcome, man. Welcome. Lay off the bacon. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. The <laughs> I was just thinking heart attack and bacon. I ain't trying to laugh at you, man. <laughs> well, it's kind of uh. Yeah, that's kind of yeah coincidental <laughs> right there. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, Miss uh, Donna says uh, he did a major crap job of handling things. Says AGP ne would. Ne All right, here's the thing. Says AGP would have ne never let this happen, or whatever. But Grandpa was letting it happen, guys. Uh, Dad didn't have a choice. You know, Dad didn't own that channel. You know, Dad didn't run that channel. Dad just pretty much did what he had. You know, did what he had to do. Made his videos and collected the money. You know, he. He knew that if he said anything that Michael would, you know, Michael had done said it before, you know, we can go ahead and end it right now. I'll go ahead and end it all right now. And dad didn't want, dad never wanted to end it. Dad loves you guys. He loved doing his videos and stuff, but he just could never have an input. He, he couldn't have a Facebook. He couldn't have a, a Twitter. You know, that was all ran by Michael and Bridget and stuff. He did have like a Carter Cash or something like that was his Facebook. He couldn't even be himself, you know. Mm. And, uh. And, you know, he was resentful of it, but he knew that, that Michael, you know, had it all in his hands. Michael, you know, controlled everything, and Dad just had to just sit back and just let it all go down. Anthony Hill. Says his first, uh, his first live stream, and it says it makes sense. My story was missing. That's the problem. So my story is what's missing, you know, and that that's what they do. Like they constantly continue to just try to push me down and mute me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and they take they ta they've they've systematically taken away almost every uh, form of communication that I have with you guys. You know what I mean? Because um, I just won't just sit back and just let crap go. You know that I just won't go quietly into the dark. You know. And, uh, it, like I said, it's hindered me, but, you know, it is what it is, and it's brought a lot of you guys to me, you know what I mean? So many of you guys sit there and, you, you know, you say that I'm, like, a, a, an influence or something like that, you know, because, you know, I'm constantly beaten down, and, and, and I constantly come back, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I have my negative days, but, uh, but overall... <laughs> Alicia Charlie says the same thing I said time. the exact same damn thing I was like dad would have been all over Erica and go damn boy you better get that for I get it yeah, yeah. 
Jeez. But, uh, uh, dang, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but, you know, to be attacked constantly, and, and, like, I have my bad days and stuff, but, uh, you know, to constantly try to stay positive, you know, um, you guys see that. And, and and I appreciate that, you know. Like I like I've been trying to preach here lately. It's about the circles that we that that we involve ourselves in, that we surround ourselves with. You know, if you're surrounded around negative ass people, you're just going to be a negative ass person, mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to have negative consequences in your life. You know, Pos You know, you stay positive. You're around positive, upbeat people. You know, your you, your life's going to be a lot lighter. You know, yeah. Your days going to be days are going to be a lot brighter, and you'll see. And you, I mean, not necessarily things are always going to be up for you, you know what I mean? But, you know, you're still looking at things upwardly, you know? Right. I mean, I may not have, I may not have ice cream, but I got Erica. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is true. So, um, but I feel good, you know, I honestly do, I feel good. I feel like we broached a lot of subjects here tonight. Yeah. Um... I want to say, Junior, cheer up. It ain't nothing new. You saw how the greens are. You know that it's always ups and downs and yeah, nobody's going anywhere. Right. So, be happy. Show yeah. them your smile. I always tell Junior, show them your smile, Junior. And like, you know, and like I said, they... they all those hearts. I see uh, all, all the hate and stuff, mm -hmm. I, I've taken it and I've turned it into positives, you know. Like these, uh, uh, they, they forced me off of the internet, you know, from making money, you know, doing what I loved. To where I've had to go on out and get a job. You know what? Well, Shadrick. What's up, Shad brother? Hold on, Shout let me out. make sure you, Let me... Shadrick, yes, I want to make sure. You're not being ignored, brother. No, it's just... We just got yeah. a lot to talk about tonight, mm -hmm. you know? Tommy and Trisha, do you find out how close y'all are from the Cheerwine Festival? I oh. did it. Oh. We need to look into I didn't that. See. There's all kinds of festivals coming up. Rebecca the Alien wants to Festival. Go, the Hippie Festival. Hippie Festival is like next weekend, and I, we're, we're actually taking some friends out to Charlotte that weekend. Mm. So, she can go to the Hippie Festival. I promised my friends I'd yeah, take them to I Charlotte. Yeah, I promised her too. She, you course. act like you want to go to the Hippie no, Festival. No, I get the days mixed up. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, that's not even in our head no more. All we're kinds taking of our friends. festivals friend. and stuff going on that we need to look into dates because I'm excited for we're that. We're taking our friends to Charlotte. We're going to check out an abandoned NASCAR racetrack. Where Dale Sr. won his first race. Did he? Did he? Yes, he did. We're going to check out the Taco mm -hmm. Bell where the Taco Bell Strangler managed That's for a couple just years. Ridiculous. This guy managed the Taco Bell, guys, and he ended up strangling like eight, six or eight of his co workers. Did that, how does that happen? Before how he do got you, caught. How do you work somewhere? I just don't get it. I and I read the story and I was pissed with Char <laughs> I was with Charlotte police. They were like, "We didn't know we had a serial strangler on our hands." You know? Mm. Meanwhile, Steve moved to Minnesota and they charged this guy. Mm. Horrors. <laughs> 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 you know I had to throw it out there, Chester. Oh. <laughs> So, uh... What is he gonna do? God, his world's gonna be split oh, apart. Oh, man. Well, she's already said, you I've know... Already said it. She's already ca called it, you know... Uh, Chillings is gonna stay with, uh... With Pest. Pest Slob. Because Michael and Bridget don't give him half as much attention... As... As Pest gives them. Yep. So... Chillings and Pest... You know, they're gonna... Cho they're gonna strike out to try to do their own thing... And it's just a matter of time. Tyler Jordan, North Wilkesboro. It's not North Wilkesboro, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of scared to check out the North Wilkesboro. What is it? Uh, the North oh, Wilkesboro. Oh, the Speedway. The Speedway that uh, Cars 3 was na uh, made after. Yeah, there's security guards there. There's a lot of security guys out there. Security guards out there, so... Mm -hmm. Don't think we're going to be able to uh, check that one out. I'm getting sweaty. Are you? So... How are you guys feeling, man? You think you think we kind of broached, uh, we kind of touched on everything? Have I kind of uh, explained the situation enough to you guys? Like I say, it still boggles me, you know what I mean, that Doug has been outed and accused of all this stuff just over a moderator. A little moderator that supposedly works with JP. You know, um, I really do feel that it's more Isaac's ego. Um... And I feel like there's something else missing here, guys. I really do. Um, <clears throat> well, they say that there's a bunch of stuff that's been going on behind the scenes. But Okay, so now here you go. Let me tell you. Now, there is some stuff that has been going on behind the scenes. If you guys remember, 
uh, Doug, Doug went MIA about four months ago. And if you guys recall, it had something to do with mail fraud. I guess apparently uh, somebody had sent a package to Doug, sent it to Michael and Bridget to give to Doug, and Doug didn't get it or something like that. And he went MIA, you know, until the whole mafia thing, Doug being in the mafia. Doug came back to, to be in the mafia and for Dad to be in the mafia. And... Uh, and it was forgotten. Well, they did broach it. They they they, they quickly glossed over the whole a whole disagreement about a mail or whatever. Um, but since then, you know, uh, who knows? Honestly, um, we do know that Doug will speak up. You know, because he got upset about you know not getting his mail and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. if there's one thing you got to know is you don't ever take it to the internet without going to Michael first. You know what I mean? And that's how I knew that Michael and them wanted me to be back on the channel whenever Doug, whenever Isaac wanted to get together and apologize. They don't you know, mess with people None of it, none of, it hap none, none of this stuff, guys, happens without Michael's okay first. Remember, Michael is paying Isaac to do all this stuff. Isaac's pay I, the, the, the orders come from above. That's just like whenever uh, Isaac tried to get me, tried to get Don, my sister Don, to roll on o over on me. Don and Melanie... Um, uh, he went ahead and, and called up their work and, uh, yeah. pretty much, uh, uh, told Don, you know, found all their background information and told Don that there was going to be a video that was going to come out that was going to expose them. It was coming from above Isaac mm -hmm. and he's like, it's above my head. There's nothing I can do. I told him not to do it, but they're good. They want to do it anyway. And it's going to happen. You know, unless y'all roll on Charlie, yada, yada. And I saw the writing on the wall, and I went ahead and walked out. Uh, whenever I found out that, you know, that him and Melanie had exchanged numbers, and, 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 and she just wanted to know who was talking crap about her, I had to go. You know what I mean? Christy, Christy Silcox says they got to follow the script. Exactly right, you know. And uh, if you don't follow the script, you will have everything taken from you. As you guys have seen, Jennifer been shut up into a, a, a Charlie. subservience, you know what I mean? She's got kids that Michael owns. Michael has custody of the kids and stuff. At any point, he can just take them like that, you know? And if that's not a whip of control, I don't know what is. And he's whipped it publicly. It's, it's crazy. <clears throat> Said, Charlie, did Mike hit Bridget? We have a recording of Tuna saying Charlie didn't hit Bridget. <laughs> All right, see, there's so much that's hitting the fan, you know. Um, I don't think Michael hit Bridget. I think she, like, took her pen to like, her face it, or something. It really looks like a... She exfoliated uh, a little. It really looks like a rub or something like that. And, you know, and it didn't... And it was gone in, like, two days, and there was no transition. Um, if so, you don't want to mess with me, because I get way worse black eyes than man, that. Man, you know, there was no transition of it going from purple <laughs> or red to purple to no yellow purple. to gone, you know. It was it was red, and then it was gone, you know. <laughs> uh, Miss, Miss Morticia, yeah, we would love to hear the... Uh, the audio of Miss Tuna saying that I didn't hit Bridget. That is mm -hmm. so... Uh, well, see, she says it's probably makeup, but they did. They had to have something to show the cops. They had to have something to show the cops and say that I hit her. So I'm thinking... I'm honestly thinking... It looked like rug burn to me. I'm thinking she, she's like... No, because like uh, she got hit in the face once before. I think they did it to uh, Jennifer. I was going to say, has your family ever done something like they that They did before? this before to either Jennifer or mom or whatever. And uh, Michael laughed. They were laughing about it. Bridget was like, whatever it is, you know. And then, but so you know, now they're they're, they're too big of a celebrity. She's got they make Michael way too Fairfax. much money. I don't think Charlie posted that porn on his channel either. Yeah. Uh, and here's another thing. I want to go ahead and, and tell you guys this hurt me very bad, guys. After Dad died, you know, uh, they had me come to the house. We reconciled so we can sign paperwork and stuff. I had broke my iPhone six. And uh, I just happened to ask Michael, I was like, do you, have, do you happen to have that 7 uh, again that I can use, you know? And Michael was like, oh, it's in, the, it's in the top drawer. So I ran and grabbed that phone, the phone that I had that I was vlogging with before all it went down. And I, went, uh, I turned it on. Everything was deleted. I was sitting right on his couch, and I went to the photos, and everything was deleted off, that, off the photo album except for three videos. Those porno videos. 
And it happened twice. It happened twice. The second time, Nikki already admitted. Yeah. Flop came forward and admitted that she went ahead. She did it as a birthday gift to Isaac. Yeah, she'll tell you straight up. I'm the one that did it. Yeah, so she's done come forward and admitted to that. Thank you so much. And then I, I, I saw that. I was like, I looked over at Michael, and he was just sitting in the kitchen talking to somebody. And I was just like, you goddamn and son of a bitch. And as, as <laughs> bad as it is, it's like we're thankful to people whenever they come out and tell the truth. It's like, God, you lied, but Morticia asked you. if we heard. I haven't heard it. You know about your mom, right? What about my... Oh, I don't know about mom, but I did hear from family that Michael let mom's car get repossessed. So mom doesn't have her car anymore. I guess Michael wasn't going to pay for her car. Is that what you're talking about? So they repossessed the car if that's what you're, at, if that's what you're talking oh, about. Oh, man, don't say nothing worse. I'm going to feel bad for Miss Tina. Yeah, it is really super sad, man. Like I said, she's having to, she's having to kind of relay messages to me, and I didn't want to say it, you know, because I don't want Mom to get in trouble. But, you know, if Mom, sh if Mom shows up gone for some weird reason, Mom flipped out, you all know exactly why here, guys. Mm. All right, Alicia says no. That's not what she's oh, talking about. Man. I don't want to know. Oh, she's saying oh no that they're. <laughs> well, I don't uh, know. So, yeah, man, it's really sad. It, it really, honestly is. So I'll tell you in the DMs. All right. So I guess there's something else about mom. Yeah. And it's just so man. <laughs> they re he really wants to trigger me, dude. <laughs> you know, where I'm. You know. See, that's when ah, Charlie gets triggered. Whenever that's it when comes I get triggered when it, when it comes to family and stuff. You know, that's when I get triggered and I get mad and stuff. Even even when Jennifer, after the crap she had, did the whole, me too. You mm. know, the whole, me too. I was too. You know, I still got upset, you know, whenever they decided to roll on her. I'm yawning in my face, guys. That's why I'm making like... Yeah, I gotta get up <laughs> super <laughs> early. What time is it? It's ten o'clock. Wow, we've been on for two hours, an hour and a half. We didn't get on until eight thirty. Caitlin Graham, yes, <sighs> we are about to get off. Yeah, again. I gotta get up early, guys. Or, <laughs> but you know, I got the weekend off, so I'm gonna hang out and do nothing. 